Peggy 18. When it seems you're out of luck There's just one man who gives a fuck A friend who'll never leave you stuck Who can that friend be? Henry, a hero, Henry. <laughs> it's been a while, but now we can finally show you Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. of leaving this place. Becoming more than a peasant. You know the trouble with an adventurous life? It can end before it gets started. Congratulations tonight! You finally become a man. <laughs> Wake, Wake up! up. Pull yourself together, Henry. will hand anything on a platter to men like you and me. You still have a long way to go till your work is done. Oh, merciful God. Be kind and protect us, so we don't blow our arses off. Amen. Hello and welcome. My name's Tom McKay, and together with Luke Dale, we're here to present the first in-depth look at Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, an action RPG set in a realistic world of the late Middle Ages. We're in Kuttenberg, a gorgeous city at the heart of Europe, but also at the heart of KCD2. So let's take you into the world of the game with the help of Warhorse, the creators of this medieval saga. It's almost exactly 10 years since I was doing a video like this, uh, introducing our new game. It's almost exactly six years since this game called Kingdom Come Deliverance was finally released. So now it's perfect opportunity to show you what we have been working on those six years which is Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. And where else to do it than in this magnificent cathedral in the royal city of Gutenberg, where majority of this game takes place. Back then, 10 years ago, at the beginning, it was only 11 of us in a small office. Now it's 250 people working very hard for years to bring you the ultimate medieval RPG adventure. 
Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 follows the adventures of Henry, a young lad who barely survives the invasion of a raiding force on his village. Henry embarks on a quest of revenge against those who butchered his family and burned his home to the ground. As a trusted squire and friend to young Sir Hans, our hero Henry is sent on a simple mission, but things turn ugly very soon. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 is a continuation of Henry's previous adventures, but the story's written in such a way that it's perfect for newcomers to Henry's journey. Henry is a character that I think everybody can identify with because he starts off as a kind of nobody and goes through life with all these immense challenges. And I, th I feel like everybody can relate to that. Hans is all the kind of fun times and all the kind of ebullience and joy that Henry has in himself, but it takes a bit of accessing, and I think Hans really helps him to do that. Whew. You were right about our stench. <laughs> Let's hope this water isn't too cold. You wouldn't want your pride and joy shrinking. <laughs> I'm more worried about it being too deep. Come on. What we are making now is what it was supposed to be in the beginning, but we were not able to do it because we didn't have enough resources and experience and all, all that stuff. We've proven that the concept works, and now we can take it to another level, which we always wanted. The game is much bigger in scope. Original game, we had, I don't know, three hours of cutscenes. Now we have more than five. Regarding the size of the world, it's two times bigger than it was. The story is longer and much more epic, so previously it was about an issues of small nobility with bandits in their villages. Now it's uh, about problems of kings. This is a behemoth of a game in comparison to the first, in my opinion. I think it's, I think it's got so much more energy and pace and adventure and action and fun and, and trial and tribulation and just everything that you could want from setting up the characters so beautifully in the first game and then throwing them out there and going, right, let's see what you're made of. This is gonna be so much fun. Henry is a young guy, so he's not really like so deeply entrenched in his already, you know, set character traits. So you can build your Henry in a different ways. And that all means that it's actually on you who you want to be. You can save the world, or you can help to punish it for its sins. The combat is also historically accurate, but we don't want to do that for the historical reasons of something. We want to do that for the immersion, and we want you to feel the sword in your hand. We want you to feel threatened by the enemies on the battlefield. We want you to fight for your life. As far as uh, missile weapons go, we added new type of weapon. We added crossbows, also some early firearms. Kingdom Come feels like the good old school RPGs. It will always surprise you what you can and cannot do. You know, you can be better in combat, you can be a sweet talking guy who talks his way out of problems, you can be a charming knight, you can be a thief, you know, a scoundrel. Anything you do will be recorded, people will remember it. If they saw you do that, our crime system will react to that. For example, when you are, I don't know, drunk and naked, people comment on that on the street, and now you can also reply. You can tell them, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, or you can tell them, ah, piss off, man. If you do a lot of criminal stuff around the village, people will start to be suspicious, they will greet you differently. So try to make these little things collapse into like greater mosaic where your actions are really reflected. It will always surprise you what can be done in Kingdom Come. We are moving to different places, so one map is taking place on the actual place that's called Bohemian Paradise and it's really a beautiful nature with uh, quite unusual rocky formations all around. And then we are moving to totally different, rather urban countryside surrounding huge 
silver mining, very rich city. So there's this big city. The Gutenberg is a huge step forward for us and it was, I would say, biggest challenge in the game. Because uh, from those small outskirts and uh, small cities, you are really getting in the one of the richest cities in the medieval Europe. And it's really big. It's even too big, in my opinion. <laughs> we are trying to go beyond that usual uh, muddy, dirty, medieval world, dark ages where everyone is dying uh, from famine or on war. It was really like colorful. Like, uh, it wasn't dark at all. Well, we have really beautiful environments. Like, players should go and explore all those like little woods and beautiful rocks and castles. The thing that I love about the game most is just wandering around because the nature is really beautiful. It's, it's really serene, peaceful, and it's full of secrets. The music is big part of the game. Jan Valta is the composer as with the first game because I think he's also his genius. game you can experience something you cannot experience anywhere else. I think players will be really impressed by that. <laughs> My message to the fans would be you are in for a ride. Thank you for all your support. Please follow us on our journey to create something unique. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 will be released by the end of this year. See you in KCDT.